Hello everyone, my name is Mateja Radovic and I will be presenting my senior project of 2020. To serve my presentation, I made four different categories and in each category, I included two activities, but in categories such as entrepreneurial learner and balanced, I included one more thing as my final choice. So as you can see in the category entrepreneurial learner, I have three things. And so my first activity that I chose is to set up a bank account. My second activity is learn how to write a check and what it means to avoid a check. And my third thing is to write a thank you note to someone who has made a positive difference in your life. So as you can see on this slide, I was setting up my bank account at Fifth Third Bank. And I would say this moment was a very exciting moment for me. The lady was super nice and she, an interesting fact is that she's actually moving to Indianapolis and I'm going to be moving to Indianapolis too. So I will definitely be reaching out to her if I ever need help. But um, the overall experience was very positive because I always thought that setting up a bank account takes a lot of time. And I always thought that you have to go through a bunch of preparations and meetings with a um, bank employee um, just to do that. But actually it only took me about an hour to do this. And it was really exciting. It was really relaxing and it was not stressful at all. And so what I actually did is that I set up my debit card and I set up a savings and my checkings account. Um, so that was really exciting. And especially because I'm a foreign and setting, setting up a bank account in a foreign country is really exciting. And I actually really felt like a true adult. My first choice for my final two choices uh, of activities was writing a thank you letter to somebody who has made a positive impact on your life. And I chose to write to my English teacher, Ms. Kanetkar. Um, she definitely taught me a lot of things, uh, both um, in the class and on the outside of class. I learned so many things about English uh, language and about English literature. And I'm really grateful for that. For the category called Globally Minded, I chose two activities. The first activity is to research your target career, um, market outlook for that career, average salary, where you want to live, and how much it will cost to live there, and can you afford it. Um, the second activity is to write a letter to someone who needs mail, such as troops, nursing home residents, and grandparents. My first activity from the globally minded um, category was learning how to budget. The way that I did this was um, I used the budgeting worksheet that uh, we did in the Mr. Comex class, um, the economic class. I chose to do this because I really like doing this, but the problem was that in class, I missed a lot of things that I should have included and it was, wasn't really realistic. So I decided to do it again because I was really interested to see how my life might be. Um, so for my occupation, although I know that I do want to be a doctor, I'm definitely not sure what specialty, but I chose a dermatologist because I shadowed at a dermatology place and I liked it. And um, I was basing it off if I'm around 32 years old. So my starting level earnings was at uh, 112,000 and 170 dollars per year. So my gross income was around $9,000 and my net income was around $6,000. So even though I put student loan payment, I put non applicable because again, I'm an international student, so I'm not able to take a loan, but um, maybe I will become a citizen. Maybe I will be able to take it, but we'll see. In the savings account, what I've learned uh, from my American mom when I was um, doing this with her is that I should always save 10% from my gross income. So I did. I put, I just rounded the number, so I wrote 950 because the more I save, the better. 
for my housing, I decided to put 1,500 because I do want to live in a bigger city. And I was researching this if I, for example, wanted to live in Indianapolis. For my transportation, I decided to drive, um, I think, a pretty good car. And I don't, I'm not that big on a car, so I don't really need uh, fancy cars. But I chose to drive Toyota Camry, and I will pay $450 per month. I will pay $120 for fuel and $100 for insurance. So that will sum up to be um, $670. For my cell phone bill, I chose to pay $40. For connectivity, um, such as internet, music streaming, video streaming, I just put 40 because I don't use Netflix and I don't use Spotify. So I didn't really need a lot of money there. For clothing, this was kind of a hard part because I don't shop every month for my clothes. I shop probably every third month, but I decided to put $200 for every month. And it's probably going to be even more, but we'll see. <laughs> for household, household items such as cleaning stuff, I just put um, $100. For entertainment such as concerts, baseball games, I put $100. Um, and then we come to the part that was the hardest part, which is food. I think I am not um, realistic when it comes about how much I actually spend on food. And I just think that I'm just not aware of how much I can actually spend on food. So after a very long discussion with my American mom and her giving me advice, she said that I should definitely put $1,000 a month because I guess she knows me better than I do myself. <laughs> For vacation, because I love to travel. And again, because I'm a foreigner, I want to be able to travel back to my country to see my family. So I decided to put $500. Um, for my health insurance, I put 350 and additional costs such as hair, um, nails, gym, gym membership, I decided to put 200 even though I'm not uh, sure if I will be going to the nail salon or gym, but God knows what will I want to do when I'm 32 years old. So for my balance, I ended up having $1,152. But... A very important thing that I forgot was emergency. So I decided to save $800 every month for my emergency, and I was left uh, with around $350, which I thought it was pretty good. So I really like doing this activity. I'm not really sure why, but um, I'm glad that I can now see at least um, how my life may um, play and what I will be able to do and not do. So I I really like doing this. Minus 200. I'm left with 1,152. Is that good? Fantastic. How good? My second activity for the globally minded category was to send a thank you letter to somebody who actually needs it. Uh, I decided to send a thank you letter to the nursing home. And the reason why I did that was because um, for the past two years, I've been actually adopting an adult, um, an older person and buying them gifts for Christmas. And I would say that just really, really makes me happy and just really fulfilled. Um, I thought that nursing home really in this situation that we are right now, they really need some kind words. So I thought um, of just writing them a letter. So I did. For the third category called resilient, I also had two activities. And my first activity was to sew a button onto a shirt or I'll learn to sew up a rip and a seam. And my second activity was to clean a bathroom. And yes, I did clean the toilet. As I said, my first activity for this category is learning how to sew a button on a shirt. 
I would say this was a very easy task, but also very beneficial uh, because I actually always wanted to know how to sew a button or just sew in general. So um, I would say this was uh, very good, uh, very good practice, and um, I'm glad I learned how to do it. Um, and it was very relaxing too. For my last activity for this category, I chose to clean my bathroom because my bathroom was a little bit messy, so I just decided to do it. Um, I usually clean, deep clean my bathroom every month, and when I say deep clean, I mean that I spend around four to five hours doing it, <laughs> and that's because I really like when everything is just clean. I really go into details. But um, then just on weekends, I do something like this where I just clean out my um, counter because it gets messy. And I clean my toilet, uh, wipe down my floors, um, clean my um, sink and um, just my shower. So even though I don't really like doing this, but I really like when my toilet is clean. So I always make sure um, that it is clean and I try to keep it as clean as possible. For the last category called balanced, I have three things. So the first two things are the ones that I just chose, um, which is learn how to iron a shirt. And the second one is do an hour of yard work. And my third one is my second final preference, um, which is choose a hobby and, and show it off. Even though it says learn how to iron a shirt, I have to be honest and say that I am pretty blessed to have a mom in Europe that has always been ironing everything. Um, and when I say everything, I mean literally everything from socks to bigger things such as dresses and shirts. So I've learned from my mom um, and I do know how to iron everything. Um, but I would say that I don't iron that often in America. For some reason, the dryer here is much better, I guess. And it, it, my clothes are pretty straight when they are dry. Whereas in Europe, whenever I dry my clothes, they're wrinkly and I definitely always need to iron them. So, but I do enjoy ironing. As you can see on this slide, on this day, I was doing some yard work. Um, my American mom and I went to the store and bought a lot of flowers and we just planted them. So I always thought that planting flowers was really, really hard, um, but it turns out that it's really easy and really, really relaxing. So I will be definitely doing some more planting. Um, then later I just watered the flowers and that was easy too. Um, but the hardest thing is actually taking care of the flowers, um, but I do enjoy it. For my last activity and my last preference, I chose one of my hobbies, which is painting. I've been painting since I was very, very little and I've always loved it. Painting just brings a lot of joy to my life and uh, whenever I paint, I don't think about anything else except painting and I think that's why I love it so much. Um, but I would say that I don't uh, spend a lot of time uh, painting because I guess I just don't make uh, time to paint, but I'm working on it.
To wrap up the whole presentation, I have to say that I really enjoyed doing all these things that I did. Uh, I would say all of them were very enjoyable and none of them made me stressed or frustrated. Even the budgeting worksheet that I did uh, really helped me uh, to see how my life may look like in a couple of years. And I really like that. I really like the idea that I can learn and that I was able to learn through these uh, small things that I did. Um, and my outlook on the adulthood is that it can be really interesting, actually. Um, but um, the fact that everything depends on you is kind of scary, but a good thing, I guess. Um, but I'm very excited for it.